Many executives struggle with the interview process because they're not focused with their message. Today, I want to share some tips to help you do a better job. Hi, everyone. I'm John Self in Chicago, where I've just finished speaking to the American College of Healthcare Executives, teaching their interview course for senior executives. One of the things we touched on yesterday, but I want to broaden it today, and that is you need to really define carefully your strengths. Don't wait till you get to the interview to begin thinking in these terms. So make a list of all the things you think you're really good at. They may be five, they may be 10, 20, 30, who knows? But then begin to quantify that. So if you're a strong communicator, what's the evidence? What examples can you provide where you've added value to the organization because you think you're a strong communicator? And be prepared to tell a short story or just give a factual situation. Some people think they're very analytical. Okay, what's the proof? What examples are you gonna provide? Others might say that they're really good with people engagement. Give me examples. So you can't just show up at an interview and bring this to the front automatically. It takes some consideration and some planning. So when you get that list and you form all of those uh, evidence, the, the evidence of your strengths, then begin to write a statement about why you are a capable executive and why your strengths and your accomplishments will benefit an organization. And you can call this your value proposition, as my friend Nancy Swain does. Other people call it career brand value. It doesn't matter what you call it. What is important is that you organize and focus your thoughts so that you can communicate effectively and succinctly in an interview, giving the prospective employer evidence that you're a competent, capable person, that you have these strengths, you have the evidence to back them up, and that you can show the employer how these strengths will benefit them. That's a really important step. If you have some questions about this, you can reach me at asktherecruiter at johngself.com. If I can help you with your career, send me an email. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.